it's going to test masks and it's going to test buttons when you convert them from Flash to HTML5 via Adobe's new Wallaby tool available in Flash CS6, which I'm using. And you can see on the screen, I've used ActionScript 3.0 um, to create a movie. Here's what the movie should look like. All right, you can see the mask here. You can see the motion tween. And here are my stop and play buttons. Simply stop and play the movie. I'm a big fan of using shapes when I do things, demonstrations for my classes and stuff, just because they're so easy to work with. Lots of squares on the screen and circles usually. So you can see stop and play, stop and play. Um, you can see that this is action script 3.0. Here are my actions. Um, just if you want to take a look. See that I've done this in action script 3.0. And here are my actual play actions for my buttons. All right, so let's convert this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Wallaby. I'm going to go to Browse, find my file, the FLA file, remember, not the SWF. Select, and I simply press Convert. I'll publish this to the desktop. I'm just replacing the file because I've already done this. I got the message that conversion has been successful. If there, it's not successful, you will get errors and warnings. All right, let's test it out and see what it looks like. Now, I already do know that the motion tween will work, but I'm really concerned about the buttons. All right, so let's first test this in Safari. All right, looks okay. It, it's looking like it's supposed to. Let's see the buttons. No, buttons are not working. It does not even recognize my buttons in Safari. Let's test Firefox. Wow, everything is just lumped up onto the screen in Firefox. Let's test Google Chrome. Okay, again, not even recognizing that these were buttons. So Wallaby is limited. I mean, we all know that it's very limited right now. It's still very experimental, but it still can't recognize a basic button component, which is a major downfall when converting HTML, uh, Flash to HTML5. Obviously, we can convert um, simple animations, which is nice. That, that's nice. I mean, that's one of the things HTML5 is really being used for is simple animations, but it still doesn't have that interactivity that Flash is really known for. Um, so until that happens, you know, the tool is kind of still very experimental. But it does show promise, so I'm not giving up on it just yet. I mean, it's still in its beta phases, I would like to say. All right, thank you.